The system case, sometimes called the chassis or enclosure, is the metal and plastic box that houses the main components of the computer. Most people don't consider it a very important part of the computer. While the case isn't as critical to the system as when required. The motherboard is an important computer component because it's where everything else connects to. The motherboard is a decently sized circuit board that lets other components communicate. A motherboard has ports that face outside a PC's case, so you can charge your computer, plug in a monitor, or connect a mouse. Power supply True to its name, the power supply powers all other components of the machine. It usually plugs into the motherboard to power the other parts. The power supply connects to either an internal battery, on a laptop, or a plug for an outlet, on a desktop. A CPU, sometimes referred to as a computer's brain, is the orcus of the machine. It performs the calculations needed by a system and can vary in speed. The work that a CPU does generates heat, which is why your computer has a fan inside. A more powerful CPU is necessary for intense computer work like editing high-definition video or programming complex software. RAM is temporary memory. Whenever you open up a Microsoft Word window, your computer places it in RAM, and when you close the window, that RAM is freed. Since RAM is volatile, its contents are lost if the machine loses power. This is why you lose a Word document when the power goes out if you didn't save it. Hard drive disk, HDD, or solid state drive, SSD. Since RAM is temporary, your computer needs a place to store data permanently. That's where the hard drive comes in. The traditional hard drive consists of several spinning platters with an arm that physically writes data to the disk. The main function of the hard drive is to store data. A solid-state drive, SSD, is solid-state storage device that uses integrated circuits assembly of memories to store data persistently. It is also sometimes called a solid-state disk. Although SSDs do not have physical disks, it is the best option when upgrading your hard drive to accelerate your system performance. The CPU cooler this is usually a heatsink with a fan on it, however it can also sometimes be a water cooling system. Its role is to dissipate heat from the CPU into the air. Graphics card or video card. A graphics card is a piece of computer hardware that produces the image you see on a monitor. The graphics card is responsible for rendering an image to your monitor. It does this by converting data into a signal that your monitor can't understand. Keyboard, mouse, microphone, camera are usually external devices that allow inputs to the computer. A network interface card, also known as a NIC, network card, or network interface controller, is an electronic device that connects a computer to a computer network, usually a LAN. It is considered a piece of computer hardware. Most modern computers support an internal network interface controller embedded in the motherboard directly, rather than provided as an external component. Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductors, CMOS Battery, alternatively referred to as RTC, Real-Time Clock, NVARAM, Non-Volatile RAM, or CMOS RAM. CMOS is short for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. CMOS is an onboard, battery-powered semiconductor chip inside computers that stores information. This information ranges from the system time and date to system hardware settings for your computer. A sound card, also known as an audio card, is an internal expansion card that provides input and output of audio signals to and from a computer under control of computer programs. The term sound card is also applied to external audio interfaces used for professional audio applications.